Quake Remastered, now available on all modern platforms for $9.99. And this is a game you might already have in your library. And I do mean the remaster, because if you owned Quake on Steam, it has been updated to the remastered version, free of charge. In this remaster, you of course get Quake, and it's four officially released expansions. All made to look as good as they possibly can, in widescreen, and running flawlessly on modern hardware. Quake is an old-fashioned kind of FPS. You shoot things, you find keys to open doors, you move on to the next level. Things don't get very deep, and there is no story whatsoever to speak of. And unlike a lot of other FPSs of the time, a lot of the enemies will actually try to engage you at melee range rather than shooting you. With some, like these knights here, not actually having a ranged attack. It's actually very hard to know what they were going for in terms of setting. As in the same level, you'll have guys in what look like body armor firing guns at you, and you'll also have these knights, these big ogre guys, and just sort of bizarre, almost Lovecraftian monsters. At the same time, parts of the levels will appear to be almost futuristic, with automatic doors and weird bits of machinery and screens, while other parts will look like old medieval castles, and there's no real consistency. The only unifying theme I could find is that everything is shades of brown. Apparently, colors just did not belong in Quake. But all of that is fine, because you're not playing Quake for the story, or for the consistency, you're playing it so you can blow stuff up in true 3D. And many argue this is the first true 3D FPS. And for that reason alone, this game does deserve to be played. And for $10 on whatever platform you want to play it on, it's definitely worth getting and playing, if only to experience this little piece of video game history. And also, it's the first opportunity we've had to replay this, because unlike Doom, Quake has not been re-released repeatedly over the years. It got released in the 90s, on a couple of consoles at the time with the N64 and Saturn, and then that's been it. This has been your first time to play it easily on a modern platform. So, 10 bucks, easily worth the price. Definitely recommend. Please do like, comment, Subscribe and tell your friends.